Hello friends, today let's solve random peak index. Given an array of integers with possible duplicates, randomly output the index of a given target number. You can assume that the given target number must exist in the array. Let's see this example. If the given array is 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, and uh, if the target is 1, we can only output 0 because there is only one element, element equal to 1. But if the target is 3, we need to uh, randomly output 2, 3, 4. So let's first think about the brute force solution. Maybe we can use a map and the key is the integer and uh, the value is list. Like uh, we can get a map of this given array which is 1 and 0 because this is the index and the 3 we can get 1, 3, 4 which are the index the elements equal to 3 but we can do better let's understand the algorithm uh, one thing you should notice that actually this given array is not necessarily sorted uh, it can be 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. So actually we can count the number uh, of the element, actually the target. So when we meet the first three, we can only have one possibility, uh, which is 2. And when we meet the second three, we can have two possibilities, which is 2 and 3. And when we meet the third three, we, we have three possibilities, which is two, three, four. So when we meet the first three, the probability to output a two is one, because we only have one possibility. And then we meet the second three, the probability to output a three is one half. And uh, another one half is the rest. And the, when we meet the third three, the probability to output the four is one third. And the rest, which is the two over three, is we choose either we choose two or th three. So all in all, the probability to choose two is one times one half times two over three, right? And the probability to pick three is only one half times two over three. And the probability we pick four is only this one third. Uh, because this uh, one half is keep the original choice. And only this one half we pick uh, the current uh, you know, the current index, which is 3. And this one third, we pick the current uh, index 4. And the rest is uh, keep original choice. So how do we get this 1 and uh, 1 half, 1 third? Actually, when we meet the first 3, the count is 1. So we can use a random next int 1. And uh, we can only have zero. And when we, uh, when the count equal to two, we use the random next int two. We only have two possibilities, which is zero and one. And uh, when the count equal to three, we use the random next int three. We have three possibilities, uh, yeah, possibilities, which is zero, one, two. So the probability to pick. Uh, 0, 1, or 2, uh, or 1 third. And the probability, uh, when the color equal to 2, the probability to output 0 and 1 are both 1 half. So actually, you can, in order to get this 1 half and 1 third, you can uh, just uh, try if the you know, the retain index equal to 0 or 1, both are OK. And uh, here you can uh, assume it equal to 1 or 2 or 3.
oh sorry zero one two up are all work fine but uh, for the sim uh for the for a simple reason you can just let the retain index equal to zero because both of these are the same possibility okay so now let's write the code and in java in order to choose random we have two choices one is use the random class another is to use the mass random so here i just use the random class uh, and uh, also we need uh, the int array a and a equal to numbers and we need to initialize this random new random oh, here we need the count of the target count at first equal to zero and we did the result the first we initialize to zero and we iterate the target at less than a dot length i plus plus and then only if the current number equal to target we let's count increment by one and uh, if the random next int uh, sorry next int uh, which is a count equal to zero uh, actually you can change this place uh, I mean when a count equal to one we only have one choice but when a count equal to two we can let it equal to zero or one and uh, when the count equal to three we can let it to uh, zero one or two but uh, we can all let it equal to zero it's much simpler equal to zero mm, we let uh, the if the count we let the result equal to the current index and finally we return this result equal to zero. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time.